Thank you, everybody. We're back. You know, uh, Bob Saget coming up. Crew number two coming up. But uh, there are so many things. There are so many thousands of things that I've loved about doing uh, this job uh, over the past 16 seasons. One thing in particular, though, I should share with you. NBC has a giant satellite dish atop 30 Rockefeller Plaza. This thing is huge. It gets hundreds of television networks you've never heard of. And what we've done over the years is sometimes we've shared some of these odd channels that no one ever sees with the viewing public. Well, we thought tonight we'd show you some of the uh, channels that we've checked out, some of our favorites uh, here at Late Night over the past many years. The first one we wanted to show you, let's bring the monitor down. It almost kills me every time. <laughs> Why it has a knife edge here, uh, I'll never understand. Uh, this is a channel... This is a channel, uh, usually we pretend I have a remote control. There's one there, but I'm just going to use my thumb because I don't really operate anything here. <laughs> this first one's a channel we checked out once. People seem to really like it. It's called uh, the John Tesh Animal Planet Show, and it's, it's now showing when Tesh's attack. Fierce and powerful, the Tesh is one of the most dangerous predators in nature. With the Tesh's ability to blend in to its surroundings and its powerful jaws. The laws of natural selection work at a fevered pitch. Occasionally, Teshes become disoriented and wander into an urban setting. Perhaps the Teshes most lethal killing weapon is its music. The Tesh's music releases neurotoxins in the brain, which instantly leads to paralysis and then death. This next channel, this next channel is called Toddlers with Too Much Responsibility Channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the house for me. I really appreciate it, Marjorie. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, the security code is 864, then just press enter. We've got the car keys. And uh, if you need any of the phone numbers, they're on the refrigerator. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. What the hell are you doing? He's flatlined. Crack his chest and massage his heart. Let's go. We here. This next channel uh, revives a comedy classic. It's called the Year Long Spit Take Channel. The Year Long Spit Take Channel. So anyway, I took my kids to see the, uh, the reptile exhibit at the zoo this past weekend. Turns out the, the main attraction was my mother-in-law. Good one. Thanks. Uh, this is one of our favorites, the Sexual Harassing Skeleton Network. <laughs> hmm, what have we here? Hey, do me a favor, Muffin. File this caboose under S for sweet. <laughs> That's it. And then he touched my butt. How can I touch her butt? I don't have muscles in my hands. She says you ogled her. Oh, with what? My empty eye sockets? Need I point out, Mr. Jeffries, that I'm a skeleton? Oh, my. I didn't know melons were in season. Gross! I <laughs> uh, don't mind if I do. Mr. Jeffries! Take it easy and shut up. So what do you have to say for yourself now? I don't have genitals. <laughs> Mr. Jeffries, will you please point out to this gold digger that I am a skeleton? And I'll see you in the copy room, sugar lumps. <laughs> the skeleton. Uh, yeah. uh, a lot of people asked us about this one. We thought we'd show it again. The Men Without Hats Conversation Channel. You want some toast? We'll make toast if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. As the friends don't toast, and if they don't toast, well, they're no friends of mine. I want a divorce. We'll get divorced if you want to. We can get divorced on time. 
Dave, could you file this for me, please? We could file if we want to. We could file this right on time. Because your friends don't file, and if they don't file, well, they're no friends of mine. You're fired. Will that be all? May I bring the check for you, sir? Bring the check if you want to. You can bring the check right now. Because your friends don't check, and if they don't check, well, they're... Yeah, We have an affinity for animals here at Late Night. Check out this next channel, Dog Ventriloquist Channel. I had to show this one, Clive Clemens, Inappropriate Response Channel. Yeah, so I spent the weekend in Connecticut with my grandmother. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Inappropriate. Wow, coffee sure is good today. Thank God for Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> this next segment haunts me in my dreams. Potato Judge Channel. My client is a loving mother of two who merely forgot to put money in the meter. And her parking ticket says that she's to be sentenced to death. There has to be a mistake. Guilty! <laughs> it's all on her. You'll have to come with me. Call oh, me. God. I'll call you. Your Honor, please. The police picked up my client, charging her with the murder of J.R. Ewing, a fictional character. Please. Kill her! She's guilty! That's a potato! I know. Please, my client is a young boy who came into the police station to report his bike stolen, and he is to be sentenced to life at hard labor? Guilty! And finally, uh, I really wrestled with my uh, conscience on this last one but I'm going to show it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's called Lincoln Money Shot Channel. <laughs> Our head writer, Mike Sweeney. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> your best work. We'll take a break. When we come back, our friend Bob Saget stopping by. <laughs>